Hey everybody, Joe from HomestudioCorner.com here, and today's video I want to discuss Solo Safe. Uh, some of you may be familiar with that, some of you may not, so it's a pretty unique, simple little feature, but it'll help you with your workflow, especially when you get down to mixing. Now, what is Solo Safe? Basically, Solo Safe is where you take a certain track, and you can always click the solo button to solo it, but say you want that track to always be on when you solo something else. Uh, to do that, you solo safe that track. Now, the way you do that in Pro Tools is simply by holding down Command on a Mac and clicking on the S. And you can see it kind of got, we'll zoom in there, you can see it gets a little uh, grayed out. So now, this track will always be on no matter what else is soloed. Because as you can see, if I solo a track here, you can see it mutes every other track. But if I have this track solo saved, when I solo this one, it's not muted. So this one will still play through. Now, why is that useful? Also on a PC, I believe it's control click. Um, it's command click on a Mac, I believe it's control on a PC. Now where is this useful? Well here we've got a uh, drum kit that we recorded. And take a quick listen. Okay, so we've got all the tracks just routed to the main outputs. Let's say we wanted to process the entire drum kit through say an aux. We have an aux here called drum mix that I've got an uh, EQ and a compressor on. And I want to send that whole drum kit through there. What we do is we route all the, the kit itself, each piece of that kit, out to a bus, which I've labeled drums, and that drum bus is feeding into this channel here. So now if we hit play, you'll see these tracks are playing and it's feeding this channel. And you can hear that the compressor and EQ are working now. The only issue, though, is if I hit play here and say I want to solo up the kick or the snare, these are all being routed through this track. If I solo here, it's going to mute this track over here and I won't be able to hear it. Let's try. We can see there that the, the snare is playing and it's coming through, but that's been, been muted because this track is soloed. Now how do we fix that? We use the solo safe. So we come over here, control click on this track here. Now, when I solo the snare, only the snare is going to come through and this track won't be muted so we can hear it. So that's probably the most popular use for solo safe. The second use for that involves using any sort of effect send or reverb. Now we have a reverb track here. We're gonna, whoops, we're gonna bring this over next to our snare, uh, just for reference purposes. Now if we come up here, and I've done a video on this, how to create a reverb, so we're not gonna go into details there. But we come to bus, we're gonna do a send on the snare to the reverb because this track needs a little reverb. And as you can see, this aux track here has deverb on it, and it's got the reverb set as the input. So when we hit play and we turn this up, we'll have reverb. Okay, so it's going to the reverb. Now, the same issue applies, though. If I solo the snare, it's not going to be going to the reverb anymore, so I don't get a good representation of how it sounds in the mix. Let's listen. As you can hear, this, the reverb went away because it got muted when I soloed the snare. Same thing here, we control click on the solo there. Now, when we, now the reverb is solo saved, and when we go to play and hit solo on the snare, we'll hear the reverb. So there it is, solo safe. It's a very useful function for when you're bussing things together or when you're using effects and need to always hear those effects no matter what else is soloed or muted. If you have any questions on that or if you have tips on how you use solo safe, leave a comment on the blog, homestudiocorner.com, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to help there. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have another video, a couple, couple more videos planned for the week, so stay tuned in. Thanks.